Hi everyone, my name is Carissa Wong. I am working on a project with the ICU team called the Nursing Activity Scores Project uh, with Amadou. In this presentation, you will be learning more about this project. A lot of researchers in the past have tried to measure exactly what nurses do at the bedside in the ICU. However, the past tools really just focused on how sick the patient was and not what exactly nurses are doing. Um, it was assumed that if the patient was sicker, then the nursing workload would be heavier. However, as we know, this does not necessarily mean that it is true. So for example, if you have a patient who has constant diarrhea, or you have a huge back dressing to complete, or you have a large number of family members um, with a language barrier, we know that this takes up a lot of our nursing time. There is something called the Nursing Activity Scores, which I will refer to as the NAS, um, which measures exactly what nurses do at the bedside indirectly or directly related to patient care. What is good about this tool is that it allows us to better understand what nurses are doing and helps us to plan for the daily and future resources required in the ICU. Therefore, the goal of this project is to determine the appropriate staffing quotas required in the ICU by using the nursing activity scores, and that we would like this tool to be completed for 100% of the patients. In this presentation, you will be learning more about the project, how to use these signs, and how to interpret the questions. In summary, you will receive all the information by email. Now, I will actually go over what the NAS actually is. The NAS measures 80% of what nurses do indirectly or directly related to their patient. There are 23 questions in the tool where 18 of them are actually just yes or no type of questions. So for example, did your patients have blood tests? Yes or no. Another example is, is your patient on any vasoactive medication? It's either yes or no. There are five questions where you will have to decide which option is the most accurate and actually reflects your nursing workload. Once you have answered all these questions, the tool will give you a score from 0 to 177%. But what does this actually mean? Well, 100% means one nurse to one patient. 50% means that perhaps the patient can be doubled, so one nurse to two patients. And anything over 100% means that probably you need another nurse. There are actually nine champions throughout your nursing team who have actually reviewed the tool with me to make sure that the questions are clear and to make sure that everything is added into the questionnaire. Your colleagues have also been testing the tool on their patients and have been telling me that it takes approximately three to five minutes to complete. The NAS was created back in 2003. It has been validated in 99 ICUs across 15 countries. The NAS has been used in Europe in countries such as the Netherlands and Italy. In Quebec, the SHIM has been using the tool since December 2018. The SHU Quebec has been doing pilot projects. And the CIUS Nord de Lille for Sacré-Cœur Fleury Hospital, Jean Talon Hospital have also been using it. The Jewish General Hospital started to use the tool back in 2015. At one of the ICUs in Quebec, they noticed that the NAS score was really high in the evening, and they realized actually it was related to all the post-operative admissions in the evening time. So the nurse manager actually adjusted the quotas in the evening to match with the nursing workload. 
The focus of this part of the presentation is how to create and activate your vSign account. If you prefer to use your cell phone for vSign, I recommend to create and activate your vSign account first on your cell phone so that your cell phone will always be linked to your vSign account. However, if you prefer to use a computer, that is perfectly fine. On all ICU computers, there is a shortcut on the desktop which links you directly to the login page. Or, on Google Chrome, it is saved as a favorite. So you first go in to your store to download the vSign application. On the main page of vSign, on the left hand side, in section 3, you click on Check Credentials where you will have to enter your OASIS ID, name, email, and phone number. You can actually enter the hospital phone number with the unit extension. This step allows the vSIME team to check that you have an OASIS account. Usually, you will receive an activation email within 24 hours from the vSIME team informing you that you can now activate your account. Once again, you will have to go into the vSign login page under Account Tools where you can click on Activation. In this screen, you will be asked to enter your OASIS ID username and then it will ask you to select two images which will be your password. What's important to remember is that the order of these images that you have selected will matter and that, that those two images will be your password. Now you can create or activate your vSign account. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact the NAS champion in the intensive care unit at the Royal Victoria Hospital. We will be launching on June 25th, where all nurses will have to complete the nursing activity scores for their patients. In this part of the presentation, we will be reviewing how to actually get on to the nursing activity scores on VSIGN. Just a reminder of what the NAS actually is. The NAS measures the amount of time nurses spend on patient care, whether it is direct care or indirect care. Once again, the goal of the project is to validate the appropriate staffing quotas in the ICU by using the nursing activity scores. The NAS tool will be completed for 100% of the patients. There are specific instructions when completing the nursing activity scores. First of all, points are given if the activity was done by someone from your nursing team. Well, who is part of your nursing team? Your nursing colleague, your PAB, and your family nurse clinician. So if only the RT suctioned the patient or did chest physiotherapy during your shift, then the point cannot be given in the section on respiratory support. Second, it is extremely important to complete the NAS around the same determined time. So this is the five W's of NAS. I would like to draw your attention to the time of tool completion. When I was working with the nursing champions, they have suggested that these time would probably be the most realistic when completing the NAS. So 6.30 to 7 a.m. for the night shift, 2 to 2.30 for the day shift, and 10.30 to 11 for the evening shift. Once again, the tool is to be completed on VSIGN. How do you actually get onto the NAS on vSign? We'll go over the steps now. You can access vSign on your cell phone through the desktop where there is a shortcut with a little cat image 
or on Google Chrome, it is saved as a favorite. Once you get onto the vSign login page, you will have to enter your Oasis ID username. You go in and then you select your site, so RVH, and then your unit, so D3, and then you click on Done. Your ICU patient list will then show up where you can then select and click on your patient's name. First, make sure that you are actually in the flow section where then you can see something called the ICU nursing activity scores. You click that and this page will show up where you have to click on nursing activity. And voila! This is the page where you will have to answer your 23 questions. At the end, once you have completed your questions, you can click on Calculate Score. It will then give you a number where you can divide that number by 10 to get the percentage. You then click Save. As soon as you click Save, it will lead to this page where it is a summary with your answers. You can double check your answers to make sure that you have selected the right option. At the end of the summary page, you can actually see exactly the time that the NAS was completed and by who. If you're curious to know the previous answers, you can actually click on the little arrow which will show you the answers and the score from the previous shift. If there is a NAS completed already and you're entering a new score, you can click directly onto the page for a new version or you can click the three little bars at the top where then you can click new version. Just a quick tip, if you want to go back to your D3 patient list, you can click directly on the patient's name at the top and it will lead you directly back to the ICU patient list. Some frequently asked questions. When you are creating and activating your vSign account, it may ask you to enter a sponsor name. This is for the vSign team to know who referred you to vSign. You can always put my name, Carissa Wong. I actually recommend to try to use Google Chrome first, as the application works slightly better on Google Chrome. Next, if you want to make some changes to your answers, you can edit the tool as long as a new version has not been saved yet. Finally, if you realize that you entered the NAS on the wrong patient, you will have 30 minutes to delete the NAS. This will conclude the second part of the presentation. What's next? You can now create or activate your vSign account. You will also receive more information by email, and please do not hesitate to contact the champion for any questions. As of June 25, 2019, the NAS will be completed for all patients in the ICU at the Royal Victoria Hospital. In this presentation, we will be talking more about the items. To help our understanding, we picked five questions out of 23 questions with specific examples so that the questions are interpreted in the same way. Just a quick reminder, the goal of this project is to determine the appropriate staffing quotas required in the ICU. Therefore, the NAS needs to be completed for all patients. Once again, as a reminder, points are given if and only if the activity was done by someone from the nursing team, which are your nursing colleague, PAB, and the family nurse clinician. I also want to draw your attention to the times of the NAS completion. For the night shift, it will be between 6.30 to 7. For the day shift, is 2 to 2.30. And for the evening shift, is 10.30 to 11 o'clock. 
These times will help the assistant nurse manager in the nursing assignment. What do the items actually mean? In total, there are 23 questions. Each question has a small image that you can click on for more information. For example, if you click on the image for question 2, you will find examples for this question. Question 2 is part of the 18 yes or no type of questions of the tool, where you will have to either pick yes or no. For example, yes, you sent a complete blood count for your patient. Question 1, monitoring and titration. This question has multiple options you can choose from. A, B, or C based on your nursing workload. Option A, hourly monitoring, means you only monitor the following every hour. Vital signs, in and out, pain, cam ICU. This patient is stable. Option B means that you spent in total more than two hours cumulatively in monitoring during your shift. The patient is unstable but stabilized with intervention. You may be taking vital signs every 15 minutes or neurovascular signs. It could be a patient who is bleeding, agitated, or requires constant monitoring of respiratory status. Option C means that you spent more than four hours cumulatively during your shift. This could be a CVT patient on post-op day one who is unstable despite all interventions. Or it could be a patient who needs a massive transfusion. Question four is also a question with different options. You can pick A, B, or C. This question includes the patient's hygiene, dressing, and also whether the patient is on isolation. Option A means routine. For example, you completed patient's hygiene, a simple dry dressing, and tracheostomy care. Option B means you spent more than two hours for hygiene and dressing. For example, on top of the routine care, you change the PK and dressing multiple times. Option C means that you spent more than four hours during your shift for hygiene and dressing. Question number five is called care of drains. It is a yes or no type of question where you will either pick yes or no. For example, yes, your patient has a urinary catheter. Mobilization and positioning is a question with options. You can pick A, B, or C based on your workload. Option A means you mobilize the patient once during your shift, which is rare in the intensive care unit at the Royal Victoria Hospital. Option B means you mobilize the patient more than once or it takes two people to move the patient. Option C means you need at least three people to mobilize a patient. Here are the NAS champions in the intensive care unit at the Royal Victoria Hospital. They are all certified with the NAS. Therefore, do not hesitate to ask them questions. Here are the next steps. Create or activate your vSign account. Complete the Google Classroom activity. Read the information, and most importantly, do not hesitate to ask questions. June 25th, 2019 is a date where the NAS will be completed for all patients in the intensive care unit at the Royal Victoria Hospital. In this final section, once again, we will be reviewing certain questions on the NAS tool. As a reminder, the goal of the project is to validate the appropriate staffing quotas in the ICU by using the nursing activity scores. The NAS will be completed for all patients on the unit. Once again, 
it is important to remember that points are given if and only if the activity is done by someone from the nursing team, who are your colleague, the PAB, and the family nurse clinician. When answering the NAF, you should always consider the nursing interventions you actually did during your shift. Once again, as a reminder, the NAS should be completed at between 6.30 to 7 for the night shift, 2 to 2.30 for the day shift, and 10.30 to 11 for the evening shift. These hours will help the assistant nurse manager in the planning of the nursing assignment. For this presentation, we will only be reviewing certain questions on the NAS tool that the champions found were a bit difficult to interpret. However, if you have any questions about any of the items on the NAS tool, you can always click on the little image where it says click here for help and that will lead you to a pop-up to give you examples. This is an example when you click on the image for the pop-up. It will give you specific examples or a description of what applies in this question. I will now review question number seven, which is support and care to relatives or patient. The options that you can choose from are one hour dedication or more than three hour dedication. This applies to any sort of telephone, or in-person counseling with the patient and family or any sort of family assessment that you do during your shift. This also applies to the involvement of the family nurse clinician. Therefore, if the family nurse clinician had organized and attended a family meeting that took two hours and on top you had provided one hour support to the family, then you would click on more than three hours of dedication. Question number eight is called administrative and managerial tasks. The options that you can choose from are routine, total number of hours more than two hours, or total number of hours more than four hours during your shift. As a reminder, your shift is eight hour long for the purposes of the NAF tool. Routine includes your routine documentation in your shock sheet, your handover report during change of shift, and rounding with the medical team. That's routine and expected in ICU. However, let's say your patient is not doing very well and you're doing more extensive documentation and at the same time your colleague is helping you at the bedside, then most likely you would either pick the option total number of hours more than two or even total number of hours more than four. This option also includes teaching or supervision with students or a new employee and also the fact of finding equipment. So let's say you're setting up a new CRRT machine um, the time that you find that you need to gather your equipment is also accounted for. Question number 14 is called hemodynamics monitoring. This includes your swan dance, cardiac pacemaker, your balloon pump, any of your VAD, flow track, and cardio cue. Question number 22 is called Specific Interventions Inside the ICU. This means that nurses are actively involved at the bedside. Let's say, for example, you are assisting the physician during a central line placement, or you are trying to put in a peripheral IV, or the fact of you inserting a Foley catheter or let's say you're assisting at the bedside during any of the scopes, whether it's G-scope or C-scope, or even a bronchoscopy. The last question on the NAS relates to all interventions outside the unit. For example, 
you accompany the patient outside the unit for an intervention or test, such as an MRI, CT, or to angio. This also includes when you accompany the patient to another hospital or institution. As soon as you click Save, you will see the summary page. Just to let you know, the blue color means day shift, yellow color means evening, and white means night shift. As soon as you click Calculate, you will see the score for your patient. You divide the score by 10 to get the percentage. For example, 1,191 means 119%. This means that this patient requires two nurses. If you ever want to make a change, or perhaps your patient's status dramatically change, you can always do so. You click on the main page where you click on the three bars, and then you click on Edit Replace. You can always edit your responses as long as a new version has not been saved yet. If you realize that you had entered the NAS on the wrong patient, you can always delete your entry. Once again, you click on the three little bars and then you click on Delete. What's important to know though is that you will have 30 minutes from the time that you had saved to delete the entry. If you look at the little red bar on the top, it will indicate exactly how long you have left to delete the entry. For some of the questions, you will have to click on the options to see all the options you can choose from. For example, question number one called monitoring and titration. You'll have to click on where it says hourly monitor and then all the three options would show. You then select your answer. Here is another example. Once you answer the 23 questions, the last question asks you if the percentage represents your nursing workload. You click on the option agree where you will then see a list where you can select your answer. Here are the nursing champions who have reviewed and piloted the nursing tool. If you ever have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to them. We would also like to take this opportunity to thank them for all their hard work and involvement. So don't forget to create and activate your vSign account, complete the Google Classroom activity, read the newsletter that's been posted on the unit, and ask us any questions. As of June 25th, 2019, all nurses will be completing the NAS tool on their patients. This will conclude the end of this presentation. Thank you for your attention.